welcome welcome back to yet another video today we are going to discuss about how do you install kafka using the docker we'll go through the step by step process how you are going to install kafka using the docker so if you are facing or dealing with the manual configuration and you don't want to do any manual configuration and you want to install kafka using the docker this is the right video for you because i will walk you through all the step by step process using the docker and the docker compose now why do we need docker for the installation service so by using the docker compose we can actually easily set up the kafka and it's every requisite so the zookeeper without you know you are not you don't need to worry about in the complex installation process whether you are running it on whatever os right so docker is going to make it very easy to run that particular same setup irrespective whether you are running in any windows mac or linux that's the benefit now before you go into installation process i would like to mention that you need to download and install the docker desktop so uh, this is the uh, you'll get an exe so what you have to do is that you have to install that particular software and uh, you see on the my windows like you know you will see that you know i have opened it okay so you will see the container images the volumes and etc in that details so make sure you install this and then run this particular uh, docker desktop before you move ahead so let's get started so what first what we have to do is that we have to create a sample project it may be in any of this particular id of your favorite right so it, uh, for you, for now i am using intellij so under that you have to create your own project uh, you can also create your spring boot starter project from the starter.io and you can download and then import the project in the intellij now once you create that particular project you have to create a file in the root directory now if you see here are uh, the docker underscore file so if you see the file has to be mentioned this particular way so the extension should be yml or yaml okay so it can be any two or one of them from the two after that if you see in this particular thing we are going to uh, add the services okay one is zookeeper and one is kafka now these are both essential when it comes to kafka as an architecture because uh, when it comes to kafka it, it, uh, everything from like you know the back end process whatever it is going to handle is maintained by this zookeeper okay so that is quite important so we need to know where this particular zookeeper is installed what is the port number what is the container name all this particular details okay along with that kafka related thing what is the container name what is the port name and what exactly the environment we need to connect right so these all information we mentioned in the docker compose file and then we are going to execute that particular docker command after we have created that particular file docker compose file the next step is to execute the docker command now if you look at it i am going to execute one command over here right so one is the docker compose command so if you see i am going to execute the docker compose hyphen f docker compose dot yml up hyphen d now this is going to be check outing that particular compose file yml file and it is going to download that particular zookeeper and the kafka okay so let's execute this now this is going to uh, take little bit time because it is going to download from the server to the local machine and once it is downloaded we will look into see like you know uh, has it is been downloaded properly or not okay so let's check it out so this will take little bit time
now if you look at it right that is downloaded properly now you see the network starter spring boot starter default created the container of the zookeeper and the container of the kafka is already created and it is already started once it is downloaded and created right you can confirm it in the this one right so if you see under the spring boot starter we have we have uh, created this particular zookeeper and the kafka okay so these are all downloaded now if you go to the images you will be able to see there are two latest versions that is you know kafka zookeeper and kafka right so this is how you will be able to confirm that it has been downloaded properly now after this what we have to do is that we have to execute that particular kafka so there is a command called docker execute hyphen it kafka slash power slash bin and such now once you do that you will be able to see the list of directories inside it under that you will be able to see an opt directory under that there will be different directories under that you have to go to this particular specific version uh, it may be different for your own machine but uh, this will be something like this and under that you have to go navigate to the bin under that if you ls and c right you will be able to see a lot of sh files now these are helpful for you know either creating the topic you are you want to produce some you know message into the topic or you wanted to consume some message from the topic so uh, uh, each as sh is going to be you know serve its own purpose so let's say if you wanted to create a topic right so I, if you see here i am going to create a you make use of this particular kafka topic which is there already in this particular we'll make use of this particular sh command we'll execute that particular create along with the zookeeper wherever it is installed so you remember we had given this particular port when we were having that particular compose docker compose file created along with the replication factor details and the partition details so which topic we are going to you know create is the topic name is this now once you create this particular topic what you can do is that you can actually open any of your particular kafka ui tools uh, you can actually go to like you know offset explorer or there is an kafka ui tool itself where you can check out you can connect to that particular you know with the help of the local uh, uh, port and the host name and the port number and after that if you have connected you will be able to see the number of brokers the topics which is already created under that now uh, as there were no messages what you can do is that you can execute this particular command under that and then you are going to publish certain messages let's say you can type in hello and then you know you can write anything actually as and you know this is a sample message and etc once you do that the the opposite side where we have the person has to consume it right now it is going to uh, once you publish it is going to sit in this particular topic right the moment the person is going to you know execute this command for consuming it all the messages which are there you know published in that particular producer by the producer is going to be showcased in this okay so this is how we are going to install the uh, kafka using the with the help of the docker okay so which uh, will make your life easy and also if you wanted to uh, run that without you know complex installation on any of this particular os machines which you have to rely on right so it is independent of that particular thing so which will make you you know your life easy when you with the help of a development right that's what this tutorial was about okay i hope this particular video was helpful to you and also it has uh, given you an insight of how to install those things so if this video was helpful to you please share with the needy people and also don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon